Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. That's the intro from my little one. Hope you liked it. In today's video, I'm going to show you a chutney and curry recipe made by using only one vegetable. This combination of curry and chutney really tastes good with plain white rice. So let me show you how I prepare but before I start the video, please do subscribe to my channel as it really supports me. Here I'm using kosherts also called as zucchini but if you haven't got this, you can use bottle gourd. My mom always uses bottle gourd but I prefer to use kosherts in my cooking as they are easily available in supermarkets here in UK. And when cooked, they taste similar to bottle gourd. Wash the kosherts nicely and cut off the ends. But peel the skin and keep it aside. By using these trimmings, I am going to make a chutney out of it which tastes really delicious. After peeling the skin, wash the kosherts again to remove the slight stickiness on them. Cut the kosherts into small pieces. Add kosher pieces into a microwave safe bowl. Add 1 teaspoon of salt and mix well. Now add little water. Cushions doesn't require more water to cook them as they are high in water content. Place it in the microwave and cover with a lid so that the steam can escape. Cook until they turn soft around 3 to 4 minutes depending upon the power of the microwave. If you haven't got microwave, you can do it in a pan on stove. For chutney, heat the pan on medium flame and add 2 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil is hot, add 3 tablespoons of peanuts. I usually use my hand to measure, so I'm going to take 3 handfuls of peanuts. And roast them for a couple of seconds. Once the peanut starts to pop, add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, a pinch of asafoetida or hing, two tablespoons of chana dal, two tablespoons of urad dal, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of coriander seeds. 1 dried red chilli. Keep mixing in between as they get nicely roasted. Now add 2 tablespoons of sesame seeds. Two green chillies. Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and mix well. Since seeds are nicely roasted, now I'm going to add the kosher skins which we kept aside earlier and saute it for a couple of seconds. Add a teaspoon of salt and chili powder. Now cover and cook for 2 minutes until the peels get slightly soft. After 2 minutes, add a small piece of tamarind Make sure there are no seeds in tamarind as we are going to blend the chutney later. To get nice consistency for chutney, I am going to add this boiled courgette pieces around 2 or 3 teaspoons to the tempering which we made for the chutney. Add little water and cover and cook for 5 minutes. It has been boiling for 5 minutes, now I am going to check and turn off the flame. The water has been nicely absorbed and become a thick paste, so it's nicely done. Now I am going to transfer it into a different bowl and let it cool down slightly before you blend it. I 
I'm using dried curry leaf here but if you have fresh ones you can add them in the tempering after green chilies. Now blend everything into a smooth paste. If you're using hand blender like me, just hold a kitchen towel on side as it helps to catch the spills. Add little water and blend again until it's smooth paste. After blending, check for seasoning and if it is less, adjust accordingly. The chutney is all done here. Now let me show you how I prepare the kosher curry. I have chopped one onion and slitted two green chilies as they are less spicy. I'm taking same pan here again, heating on medium flame and adding 3 tablespoons of oil. Once it gets hot, add a teaspoon of chana dal, urad dal, mustard seeds and cumin seeds. Now add slitted green chilies and cover immediately. Add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Then add chopped onions and cook until they turn soft. Add a teaspoon of salt and make sure you don't brown the onions. Then add the boiled kosher pieces and mix well. As the kosher pieces are already cooked, the curry gets finished in no time. Just add enough water to cover up to the level of the pieces and cover and bring it to a boil. It has come to a nice boil. The curry is all ready now. Just finish it off with chopped fresh coriander leaves. Simple yet delicious kosher curry and chutney are all ready. It's time to serve with hot rice and enjoy. This South Indian style meal tastes really good when served with ghee on top. This is homemade ghee. I have a video on my channel on how to make ghee and also how to cook rice. I'll leave the links for the videos in the description box. If you're interested, you can check from there. I hope you liked today's recipes. If so, please hit the like button and also please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you all in my next video. Until then, bye.